Okay. Will you record this? Uh... Yes. Uh... So, you know, what is surrender? First question that comes in our mind, what to do, how, and what is surrender? And what is the difference between surrendering and, you know, like laziness, leaving it to the universe? Someone can feel that, okay, I just, I'm leaving it to the universe. I'm communicating to the universe that this is what I want and that's it. Am I done? And now it is up to the universe to deal with it. So this is where different people can have different interpretation. But let's talk about what is surrender and how to do. Whether you are a student, whether you are a young adult, professional, or even about to retire or retire, doesn't matter your age. To really achieve the best potential when you do meditation or from your life in general. Knowledge about this topic is really required. So, when we are talking about surrender, it is not a question of, I just wish and leave it to the universe. Do your part without expectation. So that is a key factor. You cannot have an expectation. Yes, the topic is of your choice. What you want is your choice. But we cannot say, I want this. at 6 p.m. on Friday. What you want, you can say, no doubt about it. But you don't put a restriction that you also tell universe when it should be given to you, how it should be given to you. No, that is up to universe. Second thing is, if you recall our discussion on soul plan, try to understand your soul plan. It will really help in understanding, at least in a bigger way, what is happening, why it is happening, what is the gap. If you understand this is my soul plan, then we know the gap, so you know what steps to be taken, what work is to be done to fill that gap. What new topics you need to learn. Because to go from point A to point B, if there is a gap, you may need to know something before you can do it. But what to learn is a question that your soul plan will guide you. What is it that you are trying to experience? Soul is here to experience certain emotions. So if you understand your purpose of life, you will understand what is it that you are experiencing or you may want to experience in this life. And then you learn that topic and work on that topic. That will help you. Otherwise, the confusion is always there. Should I just ask and leave it? I've been asking this for so long, nothing happening. Or surrendering means what? So, one way to look at it, it is, if someone is troubling you, Think what is it that you dislike. It could be a person, it could be a situation, any of it. Whatever is not happening as per your wish. Think about it. What is it that you dislike?
you do not have to surrender to the pain or suffering. Because sometimes that is the most common mistake we do. We say, for example, like, you know, my there's always pain in the knee. There is always pain in the knee. So, okay, now I've accepted that I will always have pain in the knee. No, you don't surrender to the pain or the suffering. You have to surrender to the acceptance of your soul plan. That means we find out why I have a constant knee pain. Understand the process, what you are going through, and then you have to surrender to that. If you surrender to the pain, then we are not getting to the root cause. If you break a bone and you say, okay, it's my destiny, I broke a bone, maybe it was written that I will go through this pain. And I, I have accepted that. Surrendering to the pain, which seems logical, most common thought, no, not that. Surrender to the process, surrender to your soul plan. Question will come how to know the soul plan. Now we took that topic before we can take one more time because it is tricky. It is not easy. So maybe later on, but first is to know the soul plan or purpose of life because they are very much related. So example, if you have a fear of abandonment, so opposite of that is attachment. So to overcome that fear, you have to experience the opposite thing, which is attachment. Because again, soul is here to experience emotions. So if you are here to experience attachment with someone, to overcome the feeling of abandonment. So attachment may come naturally to you, or it can come in a different way. We have no idea how the universe is going to bring it in our life. Depending on your soul plan, your purpose of life. And your plan is different from mine. Mine is different from, you know, X, Y, Z. So everyone has a very unique custom-built plan. Sometimes we say, my child is going through this suffering or my parent is going through this suffering or my some other near and dear one is going. And you have to take care of the person. So universe is bringing you attachment with that person forcefully. So either you are sick or the other person is sick. One way or the other, two people are staying together, means taking care or whatever. So this attachment will help overcoming the fear of abandonment as an example. So if you only think about the suffering, whether yours or the person you are taking care of, then you will be just looking at the pain and the suffering. But that's not the point. The reason this is happening from soul perspective is bigger, which is in this case, in this example, learn attachment. That's why all this is happening. Universe is making you experience attachment. So we don't just say, okay, I accept my destiny in life is to experience this pain, whether yours or others. No, it is the other way around. There are two key elements that I have experienced and I have learned and I'll share with you that really you should try on daily basis. Your happiness or your sadness should be dependent only on you, no one else. 
if others are dictating it, you will always be unhappy. You will always be sad. You will always be in deep pain. If you say, today I am sad because my boss said this. I am sad because there was traffic or weather. Or my parents said or did this. Or my child said or did this. Or my neighbor or your friends. doesn't matter who. You will always be upset. Because your happiness is dictated by others. And there are multiple people around you all the time. Someone will do something and you will always be sad. People can do, people can say things, but it's up to you whether you absorb it or not. If you don't absorb, you will not take that negativity. You will still stay happy. Shrug it off. Your teacher says, this assignment, you know, you get very low marks. What did you do? Blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is. That is specific to the assignment. Don't make that judgment as the judgment of your whole life or your whole year in school, college, university, whatever. So this is on daily basis, we should try practice. Anytime you are sad, upset, see why I am. Oh, because this person said. Immediately think, but my happiness should be in my hand, in my control. So though you are attached to all the people around you, you are still detached. So it's a very delicate balance. That we live in a society for sure, but not to an extent that anything and everything is making you upset on daily basis, which happens with all of us unless you practice this. So example, say if you are feeling abandonment that in your early childhood, for example, your mother, you know, uh, she was busy, couldn't give you time and you feel abandonment from that perspective. And you find that now you are attached to your daughter or son, whatever, taking care one way or the other. It could be anything, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, psychosomatic issue or any other issue. So by being attached to your child, you are you provided what you had looked for or missed in your childhood. If you recall, you know, we talked about balancing of karma. So first you missed the that abandonment or that feeling that you were expecting from example in this case uh, from your mother. Now you are providing to your child. In doing all this part of surrender, forgiveness comes very handy. It's a very important tool. So in this example, don't blame your mother for abandonment. You had requested her in the pre-birth planning that please do this, this, this to me. You want to experience this. So if any person is giving you any kind of pain, discomfort or some issue, flip the coin and say, okay, this person did this to me because I must have requested in my pre-birth planning that I want to experience this and that is why this person this did to me. This way, you will be able to surrender to the bigger picture. Surrender to the process. Not to the pain. So this is what we keep differentiating. You may not be able to surrender again, referring to the previous example, until you forgive your mother. In that example, you think my mother didn't spend much time to me or didn't do this or didn't do that. You have to forgive. How? You know the forgiveness, the whole topic. Why you should do? Because it was your pre-birth planning. Now, 
question comes whenever there is suffering. How long or why? First, you know, depending on the severity, first question comes, why me? You know, why I have to go through this pain? What did I do wrong? So it's not a question of right, wrong. It's a question of your pre-birth planning. This is what the soul wanted to learn. So in the previous example, we said, even if you have a child where you have to stay with the child, you know, sometimes you may have a physical challenge. Sometimes it could be mental, physical, whatever. So you have to stay attached to your child to fulfill your own wish from your mother. So if you recall again, we talked about when we are talking about or finding about soul plan, purpose of life, try to think the major events in your life. Go back all the way up to seven years of your age because zero to seven years we are in a subconscious mind. Then the story starts. So first go to seven years and then you can go back as back as you can. Analyze your childhood. Were you stubborn? What kind of thoughts, emotions were common inside you at that age? You may say, my child, I have to take care of my child. My child is, again, the same example, not well. Whole day I have to be with the child. So is the child slowing you down? Is the child calming you down? Is the child introducing empathy in you? Now, there's a difference between empathy and sympathy. Empathy is when, you know, as a human, you are able to understand and appreciate compassion for others. Whereas sympathy could be just that, okay, I feel, but I'm happy that it is not happening with me. So empathy is a higher level. So if all those things are coming because you're taking care of your child, then that could be your learning. question that you have to check that in the past was physically or verbally expressing empathetic feeling was any issue were you able to or not if you say for example my child has autism right because there the child cannot express communication is an issue so there must be a reason why the soul picked that you know I will have say in this example this challenge in life so was there physical or verbal expressing empathetic feeling any issue in the past? So again, these things will help you understand or connect the dot with your soul plan. Sometimes, you know, like we say, why me? You will think, oh, why my child condition is like this? Is it because of my sin in the past? My karmas? Remember one thing very, very clearly. Universe never tries to punish you. It is only your wish to ex uh, experience certain emotions in human form. This is a mutual soul plan between you and the other soul. So it doesn't matter how angry or upset you are with anyone. That he did that to me, she did that to me. It doesn't matter. It was your decision. It is your soul plan. Other person only did what you had requested. Now, if you understand this, then you surrender to the process. That process means, in this case, you have accepted that your child has this condition or you have this condition or whatever the thing. And you say, I accept the process, not the pain or the suffering, the process. And then we continue working on it because the aim is to experience the emotion and come out of it. You know, like soul plan means going towards nirvana. In different lives, we learn different emotions. So learning does not mean just get stuck there, come out of it. And that is why we have to do our work. So there were two technical research paper published on this subject of 
surrendering. One was in multiple countries, multiple, like hundreds of people. And they were talking about uh, the primary caregiver, which usually is the mother for child with autism. And they saw a great improvement in resilience in the primary caregiver means in the in this case the mother by through spirituality so because of this situation in child primary caregiver in this mostly they were mothers were introduced to spirituality as part of this technical research and they found their resilience increased after coming in contact with spirituality so one way to look at it is what they planned this that okay, the child will have autism, I will take care of it. Child must have some reasoning to pick. Mother must have some reason that okay, I want to improve my resilience. Okay, let's do this. So you see, you don't surrender to the pain, surrender to the process that it is to improve my resilience, for example. That is the purpose. If we are in denial mode, which usually we are, if we are not accepting this, that no, I'm a science student and this thing doesn't work and I will find a medical solution and all those things. You are not fulfilling that. The story will continue. Another technical paper, this was within one country only, not more, but it was more of the inner voice concept. Again, spirituality for sure. These people improve the inner voice. You know, we keep saying, listen to your inner voice, listen. And the first thing comes, okay, what does it mean? How to do? And, you know, there are different kinds of things. But here the people, first they started with why me? Usual question. And then they understood and started listening to the inner voice. They were like major theme was spiritual journey, but sub theme and common meaning. So first, you know, looking into something of descent or connecting to deity or accent, uh, ascending. First is wondering what it is, why, and all negativity, losing hope, unhappy, and always, you know, full of negativity. Second was once you you are able to connect with the deity or universe or inner self, whatever you may call it. Then the gratitude, surrendering to God, all those things comes. And third, the essence means helping the child is becoming all of the mother's life in the sense of to bring the child out of it, being hopeful, listening to her inner voice. You see, from being negative to neutral to positive. You stay in denial mode, you stay in number one. You start working on it, you may come in two, but you can progress to three if you're surrendering, if you're accepting and working. And that's what the difference is. So surrendering does not mean surrender to the pain. Surrendering means surrender to the process. So masters, we all need to understand and follow surrender in our daily life. Small to major issue does not matter. So remember, surrendering does not mean to suffering or pain. Surrendering means we are souls. Souls have only one purpose, experience emotion and move ahead. Just like a student wants to clear the exam and move on to the next stage, whether it's next class, grade, university, whatever we may call it. So if anything in your life is causing you any issue, because see, when things are good, positive, you're enjoying the life, going as per your wish, you don't think about spirituality or anything. You think you are driving the bus. It's only when things go wrong, we, we, we wonder what happened, why this is happening to me. So anytime anything not happening as per your wish, try to find what is it, emotional basis, a soul plan basis that you can learn out of it. 
that may be the reason why you planned it in your life. So whether you are studying, you are not getting good grades, whether you are working hard, you are not getting promotion, it does not matter what. You have a family member, very sick, and you may wonder why me. Look into the learning out of it. Look into the surrendering process, which will help you going through that phase much easily. So now I'll stop recording.